In this AI avatar app, so far you saw part 1 and 2 to get your model ready. If you missed it, it's linked in the description. Now in this third part, we'll see how you can start generating images using the custom model that you just created. Okay, so let's see how. First, you open the subtable here to enter the prompt and start generating any images you would like. So let's go into the subtable, click add row and let's give any prompt that we want to give here. We can make it as detailed as you would want. You can look at other playgrounds to look for inspiration on what prompts you would like. Let's just use a simple prompt and see what happens. Let's click generate and let's use multiple samples and click run. Okay, so looks like we have run into some error and you can actually go into the logs anytime to look for what error it is. So here we can see that this column action had some errors here. So if I expand it, you can see that I have reached the free limit of replicate, which means I need to go to billing and update that. Let me do that and come back. Okay, so I have updated my billing and let's try it again. There you go. So it says it started to generate images based on this prompt. So let's wait for the status to complete. All right, there you go. There are some images that have gotten generated. And the good thing is you can go back to your trainer at the top level and start adding as many models as you like. And in this sub table, you can generate as many images you like. You can play around with the prompt to give it more interesting, unique looks. We also have under our demo.roi.io website a image generation template which you can take for inspiration for prompts. So for example, we have astronaut, king and many different types of things that you can take and tweak as you would like. And what does it mean for your app? The good thing is all this data is stored on your own Firebase project and so you have complete access to this database. So if I click here, at the bottom of the side panel, you'll be able to go into your Firestore project and you'll be able to see the complete data that is generated here. So you'll be able to see the image locations in Firebase storage, various information that you would need. And so now you can build any app on top of it that directly interacts with Firestore and Roy takes care of all the backend functionality for you. Hope you enjoyed this. Subscribe to the Roy channel on YouTube to learn how you can build a lot more exciting AI apps using backend templates of Roy. See you in the next one.